Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be continuing my Disney character series. So because the Lion King like animation has recently been released I thought I would do a makeup look inspired by that to continue like my series. So I haven't been doing, um, I haven't done a Disney character series for the last few weeks so I thought it'd be exciting to continue on with Lion King. So I've been looking at the poster and I just feel like I'm going to incorporate like those orange tones, gold tones, yellow tones, red tones, like browns and stuff. It just looks so beautiful. I just love all the warm tones that are all incorporated into this picture. So I'm kind of going to use that as my inspiration today. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so initially for my crease colour, I'm going to take a bright yellow. This is from my Chi Chi Pride palette. I'm going to apply this through my crease. Next for my Sugar Peel Burning Hearts palette, I'm going to take the shade Buttercup on that same fluffy crease brush from Zoeva and apply that just a bit lower in the crease. Next, taking Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill palette on a soft definer brush from Zoeva. And I've just applied it to the outer third of my eye and just kind of blending whatever's left towards the inner third just to deepen that crease up a bit more and bring some of those orange tones in. I love this shade as like a middle ground because it's like not quite orange, it's not quite yellow, it's like a perfect in between. Next, taking Flame Point from Sugar Pill, I'm going to apply that in the outer like V of my eye and through the outer crease on a petite crease brush. I'm going to start deepening up the eye now. Don't worry too much about it getting on the lid area. I just don't want it going too high in the crease because then you lose that transition effect because you cover up all the other shades. So I'm trying to keep it pretty low in the crease. So I just initially like plonk it on, like just kind of pat it into the skin. And then I'm going to, with whatever's on the brush, just start blending it through the crease. So, next shade, I'm going to take Love Plus from Sugar Peel on a pencil brush and I'm just plonking it on the outer V of my eye and dragging it through the outer third of the crease. Just a little C shape. And going back in with Flame Point to blend it out. And I'm just going between colours to kind of get that soft blend so you don't know where one colour begins, one ends. Next I'm going to create a half cut crease on my lids with my eye concealer brush and some of my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So once I've done my cut crease, I like to use my finger just to blend out the edges so it just fades into the outer corner rather than there rather than there being a harsh like line cutting from the outer V to the cut crease. It just stops any like harshness being on the lid. So I'm going to transition some like yellows and golds I think onto the lid. Like that's kind of like my vibe at the moment. So I'm going to initially take some of that light orange shade again on a precise shader brush from Zoeva and just pack that onto the inner third of my eye. Just kind of trying to keep that line pretty defined and sharp along the cut crease. And then taking some of Butter Cupcake and applying that next to that light yellow shade. And then taking some of Creamsicle and doing the same, just applying it next to the Butter Cupcake. And then taking some of Flame Point, that deep orange shade. And then just taking some of that deep red again and just blending that into a flame point just on the outer corner. Now for the wing which is the most exciting but nerve wracking part. So I'm going to try and do like a gold wing but leave the kind of wing part open so you can see the eyeshadow underneath. I think I'm best showing you than explaining it. It's a bit complicated to explain. So I'll just show you guys step by step. So what I'm initially going to do is take some of this Napoleon Purtis gold um, gel eyeliner. So I'm starting from the center of the lid 
make a little mark like I did on this eye. On this eye. <laughs> and then I start mapping out the outer corner of my wing. So where I want this line to connect onto this line here. And I'm following the end of my brow. So that angle here. And if I made a mistake, I just grab some of that red eyeshadow and just clean it up. And there we go. I am so proud of how they turned out. Gel liner is a lot easier to use than a like liquid liner. Just because when you have a brush, it's just easier to be a little bit more precise. But this part is optional. So if you guys find, oh, it's a bit too much, you can do a normal wing liner. Or you can skip the liner altogether and just have the smoky eye. So before I finish off the bottom waterline, like lash line area, I'm going to apply some mascara and lashes. Hmm, the lashes choice is always where I struggle most. I always get too caught up to, do I want dramatic? Do I want more natural? Do I want more wispy? Do I want more intense, full lashes? So many options. <laughs> Felt my own problems. So for mascara, I'm going to go in with my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline to give a bit of volume and just to make it nice and black for the falsies. So the lash style I'm going in today with is my iconic lashes from House of Lashes. I feel like they just complement this eye look so much, especially because they're more like fierce lashes, like a lion. I just feel like they'd be better than something soft and wispy. That's not really the line kind of vibe. So I'm going to really open up these eyes, like a lion's eye, with this nude eye cult from Models Prefer. I'm going to apply that to my bottom waterline. You could use a white. I just think that would be a bit too harsh. Okay, for the bottom lash line, I'm going to take some of Jack's on that precise shader brush from Zoeva and really wiggle that t really tightly against my outer third of the bottom lash line. Make sure to connect it up to the very outer corner of your eye so there's no gap. It all just is symmetrical, it just it blends into one another. So I'm pretty much keeping most of the pigment focused here on the outer third and I'm just dragging whatever's left on the brush, just kind of tapering it in toward the inner third of my eye. And then on a pencil brush I'm going to take some of Hunt's and smudge out jacks with that. Really keeping that nice and tight against the bottom lash line. I don't want it to be too blown out and smoky. And just chucking some of Creamsicle down to really soften any harsh lines. And just using a soft definer brush from Zoeva. So for my inner corners, I'm going to take this really gorgeous kind of yellow gold shade from my Chi Chi palette. And apply that to the very inner corner area of my eye. Now, yeah, I like that. But I think I want something a little bit more intense. I'm going to take Moon Gleam from my Violet Boss Highlighting Trio. And apply that to the very inner points of the eye. Kind of have like a ombre highlight effect. And I'll hit the high points of my brow with the highlight as well. And now to finish off the eyes with some mascara on my bottom lashes. So guys, this concludes today's makeup tutorial on this Lion King inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you guys can stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. I upload videos every Monday and Thursdays, so two uploads a week, so make sure to stay tuned for those. Otherwise, have an amazing week, guys. I love you all so much, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.